No, with a front flip of the bottom. Oh. Abel Moga, the ultimate showman there. I thought his run was done, but he managed to put it across. No! 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 Ah! Buda! Manuel Amendo flying out of that shoe. The judges oh. Oh, taking a tumble there. She'll be disappointed with that. Hard to hold it together with that kind of speed as the snow, because it changes almost right on that sunshade line. Yeah. Her spoiler out, her uh, airbag is popped, so she's got a cape as she crusades down the rest of the mountain. Taking some serious speed into this bottom feature. And comes tumbling down. Back flipping that one, I think it looks like he caught his tips. We'll have to catch the replay. Not finding transition there. Ross getting absolutely rocked on the flattest part of that landing. I hope he didn't knee himself in the face. He's definitely stopping, I think, just to try to shake that off. Absolutely devastating for, for Ross there. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god, yeah. I think he's, he should be fine. He hit the rock with the board. Oh my god, he picked up a really long cliff. Yeah, that was a huge send from Cody Bramwell straight to a little mini tomahawk there. I guess the good thing about having a snowboard is it doesn't really come off. Big three. On oh, and going almost to 450 there for Leo Slemmett. Over rotation, he's arrested himself. Well, that was a uh, extremely <laughs> aggressive start. Leo Slemmett going out of the gate with his pedal to the floor, absolutely pinned. So unable to stick that. Looked like for a second I thought he was going to do, trying to do a 540, but I think it was just a slightly over rotation on there, a slight over rotation on the three. The big backy, which he takes a tumble in the landing there. Luckily, the fall line funneling him away from the rocks there. That's a, that's a lucky break. Looks like he's all right. So Maxime Chablot going into that zone. We saw pioneered by George Rodney and then nearly perfected by Marcus Eder. Holy, let's see. Line it up and bow straight off. Oh no! Taking a tumble. He didn't quite make the landing. And coming to a stop there. Yeah, he's up and moving. That's awesome. I think he just luckily hit the bushes on the left side there. You can see behind him, ski coming down. Giving us a wave. I think he's pretty good there. The right way about it. And so far, looking at kind of a similar angle as she took into this real beat up zone. Will she hold it? Hold on just no. She's bucked. And that is a head to toe. Jess Hodder looking like she's mostly okay. I'm sure absolutely terrifying experience there and so dizzy with all of those tomahawks. That is unfortunate. And that is the product of that low takeoff into the hoistle cliff. So the, the landing is just punched. And unfortunately for Jess Hodder, whether she didn't see it or didn't know it, or just figured she had it, because it looked like she was close, and then she fought for it, but unable to hold on, and then really racking up the Tomahawk score. This is snipe of navigation we're seeing. I am on the edge of my seat as he runs it out, straight over the next, yeah, oh, and he falls through the choke like a pinball, and he is head to toe into the base below.
crowd are loving it. He has put on a show for us today. I hope he is of sound body and mind.